Hey there, Jag here from Modern Work again. So, just recently, one of my colleagues um, have actually asked me, Jag, you know, we're actually using Microsoft Teams quite uh, aggressively these days, right? And especially we have a project site and we have a project team members uh, who are working on multiple different types of document, different documents, right? And we didn't, uh, he, my colleague has actually asked me, how do I track, you know, um, you know, who's worked on what document? unless they actually uh, go and uh, tag you, for example, say, hey, this document has been updated, go ahead and review and things like that, right? If they tag you, you get a notification. But how do you, uh, especially when you have multiple channels and multiple folders within each of those channels, how do you track that what documents are being updated? Uh, so here I am on my Teams, um, and you can actually see here's my um, team for, in this case, the greatest school on earth, for example, that's a, it's a, an example center of excellence uh, site for a school that I'm actually building on uh, as a separate uh, tutorials, right? But in this tutorial, I just wanted to actually show you how you can actually track, uh, especially, let's say, I have a, um, go back in here into the sales in general, for example, go into files, you have multiple files and things like that. So you can't, you can't actually in this case, I don't have any. Let's go and see if there's any files in the campaigns and stuff. Okay, there's one file there. You can tell I didn't prepare for this tutorial. Um, so anyway, let's go keep going. So here I have lots of documents, right? So in just assume that you, you have a project site with multiple documents in them, with nested folders, especially inside channels and so on. So how do you go about and, and, and get a holistic view of what's happening in your Microsoft Teams team. So let me take an example of this uh, greatest school on earth, go into general. And what I can do is if I just go back to SharePoint for that particular site, you have something called activity, right? Then I thought, ah, oh, how about we actually um, showcase this web part inside Microsoft Teams? So there's no straightforward way to just show you a web part inside Microsoft Teams yet. So what I've done is I've actually went and created a page here. Well, let's start with a blank one. So I'll create a blank page. I'm going to call this team activity. This is some big brother stuff that's going to start, yeah, it'll start saying. So in this case, I'm going to make this plain and simple, make it center, uh, show public state and whatnot. You know, I'm just uh, uh, going to say team activity. For now, let's don't worry about all that. So, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just untick the choice the comments field in this. Go in here, go and click a new web part, and add search for activity, site activity. Site activity actually tracks all the conversations, especially the Office 365 email conversations. It also tracks the document activities, right? Uh, who's viewed it? who's updated a, a recent document and stuff like that. So here I have uh, site activity. You can actually see uh, it, it's telling me that I've act, uh, created a, a site activity page, which is this one here. I've viewed the home page. I've similarly, um, you know, uploaded few documents in there, like, you know, the uh, changed few things in, in the curriculum documents and stuff like that, right? So let's quickly go ahead and edit the web part to show more than eight. In this case, let's say I want to show 20 items, okay? I'm not sure if I... I really have 20 items in there but just you get the idea that's pretty much it now you've created this uh, i can actually get rid of this uh, text web part i don't want now i'll go ahead and publish this if you're a seasoned office 65 uh, microsoft teams uh, consultant or user you would know what i'm going to do next right so uh, you would just go back into teams go into the relevant team for that site click on plus uh, you're adding a new tab and here i can actually go and pick SharePoint. So now in SharePoint, what it gives me is uh, it'll show me I can actually one, I can showcase my pages or I can showcase a list. So right. So in this case, I'm going to the the, uh, the the page that we've just created the team activity and click save. So this is really good for a project if there's a lot of activity happening and uh, as a manager, as a project manager, you wanted to track on, you know, what's really happening, you know, if, you're, if your team members are really uh, working on those documents or, or, or whatnot and then see, you know, what are the recently updated documents. And so this is just one way of doing it. So now I have a tab which actually uh, showcases, you know, um, different 
uh, you know, the activity that's happening in the site. There you have it. That's a quick view of uh, tracking site activity inside, uh, document activity inside Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. This is Jag Kakarlapudi from uh, Modern Work Group. You can, you can know more details about Modern Work at uh, modernwork.cloud. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the uh, another tutorial. Bye for now.